Hey guys, thanks for stopping in. When I was fishing the other day, I caught nothing. So, today I'm going to cook some fish, but it's just going to be some frozen tilapia. And um, this is the same way that I cook any fish that I catch, whether it be bass, rockfish, panfish, whatever. And this is probably going to be one of the simplest recipes on YouTube. So let's get started. I have a frozen, well it was a frozen tilapia filet. I pulled it out of the freezer and put it in the fridge last night so it could thaw out. And um, I think I'm going to make a fish sandwich with it. So I have a fresh tomato from my garden. I have some hamburger buns there. But let me get the tilapia rinsed off and we'll be back. My tilapia is rinsed and I cut it in half just because if I'm going to make a fish sandwich with it, it'll fit on the bun better. I'll just stack the pieces up. Now I'll just sprinkle some cornmeal on there. I don't dip it in anything. I just pour the cornmeal right on there. I've done it this way for years. Just flip it over. Coat that side a little bit. And it's ready to go in the frying pan. But you know what? While I'm heating my pan up, I think I will make some tartar sauce real quick. Making tartar sauce is pretty simple. Just a little bit of mayonnaise, and then I add just a little bit of lemon juice to that. I just kind of eyeball this stuff. It's not, it's not rocket science. A little bit of dill weed. That looks pretty good. And then last, just a little bit of sweet pickle relish. If I can get it in there without getting too much. Perfect. Now just mix this up and I'll just give it a taste and actually it looks like I got the perfect amounts. I'll put this in the fridge while the, while the pan's warming up there and then we'll get the fish into the pan. Okay, my pan is hot and I put about a tablespoon of coconut oil in there. Coconut oil is solid until it gets hot then it turns to liquid. So um, I like the coconut oil just because I think Seems like stuff doesn't stick as bad when you use coconut oil in the cast iron. Now if you're using a non-stick skillet, you could just spray that with cooking spray. You wouldn't hardly need any oil at all because I used to use a non-stick skillet all the time, but today I'm using the cast iron. So my heat is kind of medium, medium low. You don't want to get it too hot because the, the cornmeal starts to burn if you get it too hot. So we'll be back when it's ready to flip. My fish has been cooking for about three or four minutes on this side, and you can see it's starting to look kind of brown on the edge there, so let's go ahead and flip it over. Oh, perfect. Not didn't stick to the pan, just the right color. I did pretty good on that. Now we'll let it finish cooking on that side, and I'm just going to season this lightly with a little bit of kosher salt and just a little bit of pepper. And that's it. The fish has been cooking for about two or three minutes on that side, so I'm just going to go ahead and shut that off right there. And I'll grab a bun and we'll make a fish sandwich. Okay, let's make a sandwich. I have a bun and I have my homemade tartar sauce and it's really good. It's much better than store-bought. And look how good my fish turned out. Wow. I didn't burn it at all. Usually when I make a video, it seems like I overcook it or, you know do something to screw it up. Wow, that looks really good. Now put a homegrown tomato on top of there. Actually, let's put two of them. If I can get a hold of this thing. Come on now. Oh yeah. And might as well go with a little bit of lettuce. Just a little bit there. This ought to be pretty good. That's a pretty good looking fish sandwich if you ask me. Oh yeah. Can't wait to try this thing. Well, let's see how this filet of fish sandwich turned out. Looks pretty good. Oh yeah, that's definitely good. I did good on this one. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll talk to you next time.